Hi, Michael Valandingham, pastor of Del Norte Baptist Church, and this is a preview of Sunday's message. There was a giant curtain that separated the Holy of Holies from the rest of the temple. And this curtain is said to have been 60 feet tall and was four inches thick. It was a large, large curtain. And it symbolized the separation that existed between man and God, a separation that exists because of our sin. In Isaiah chapter 64, Isaiah cries out to God. He says, rend the heavens and come down. It is a cry from Isaiah that he realizes that, that God was missing, that God was missing in his life, was missing in the life of the people of Israel. And he had this great desire for that separation that exists to have been torn. These, those days in Isaiah were a very difficult time for them. The Jews have been taken uh, captive and were, were living in a foreign land. The, the temple had been destroyed. The walls of Jerusalem had been destroyed. Everything they knew, all the stability that they knew in the world had been destroyed. And yet, Isaiah cries out to God, desiring His presence. He says that the, the greatest trouble that they were having was not something that was physical. It was something that was spiritual. He had this great desire to be in the very presence of God. See, there's a difference between the omnipresence and the manifest presence of God. Yes, God is everywhere. But what is special are those times that we have the manifest presence of God, that we know that He is with us. And are we not living in a time where more than ever, we need the manifest presence of God? Jesus Christ, when He came to this earth, He died. And when He died on that cross, it said that the, t the veil in the temple was torn from the very top to the very bottom. What a great picture of Jesus restoring that relationship between man and God. He, see, what causes the separation is sin. And yet Jesus Christ died in our place to reconcile us with God so we can be in His manifest presence. I hope that you'll join us Sunday as we look at the passage in Isaiah 64, 1 through 4. And um, as we see what it means to be in the presence of God, for that separation to be gone. We have three different services that are here on campus, or you can join us online. We'd love to have you come and be a part of this special day. God bless you.